Take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. We're talking about multiplication and addition of integers. Sure. Um, there's a little rule that we need to follow. Maybe this segment will be order of operations. Ah, uh, there. I put one P in that one, so one of them's got to be right. Um, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Whew, that girl. That, 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 that girl. I know what some of you are thinking. And you're like, what did she do? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The P stands for parentheses. The E stands for exponents. The M stands for multiplication. The D stands for division. D-I, V-I, S-I, O-N. Sounds like Biggie Smalls. The A stands for addition. Uh, and the S stands for subtraction. When you have them grouped together, when you have them grouped together, the M and the D go from left to right. Go from left to right, Daniel San. Yeah, and the A and the S, addition and subtraction, also go from left to right. Now, when I say that, I mean if you have them against each other, yeah? If you have multiplication and division right next to each other, then you go from left to right. Daniel's son. If you have addition and subtraction right next to each other, then you go from left to right, Daniel's son. We're gonna get into some mm, more harder versions of these. Yeah, I just put this up here so that we can talk about um, addition and multiplication. But since we're here and we're talking about parentheses, we're gonna come across several different kinds of parentheses. We're gonna have roundies, We'll have squaries. We'll have curlies. Don't worry about your curlies. One side is always going to look better than the other. It's just a fact of nature. Roundies, squaries, curlies, straighties. Yeah, you know these as absolute values. Um, roundies, squaries. Curlies, straighties, you have flatties. This is division. Let's see what else you have. Kinkies, sure. Square roots, or different kinds of roots. These are all different kinds of grouping symbols. Roundies, squaries, curlies, straighties, flatties, and kinkies. I'm sure I've left some out, but um, some books have even gone as far as to change PEMDAS to GEMDAS order of operations. Why don't we do some work with these order of operations? Hmm. Let's set up some stuff. Awesome. awesome. We're taking these things down. We talked way too much about the order of operations for these applications, but we're going to apply them nonetheless. Here I'm taking a look at that expression, and I want to simplify that expression. Okay, okay. Um, I need to go through. Do I have any parentheses? Yes. I go inside them. So I go inside them. Is there anything that I can do inside them? 
no, right? Um, I won't say that. There's no multiplication inside and there's no addition inside. So then I go outside. When I'm working my order of operations, I work inside out, left to right. Okay? Okay. So I see the next thing on my list is not exponents, which, if you're wondering, is like 2 to the third power. Sure. We don't have any to the powers of here. So I'm going to handle my multiplication. What's 2 times 4? It's 8. Great. Do they have the same sign? Nope. They have opposite signs. So my product's going to be negative. Nice. Have we handled our multiplication? Yes. So we're moving on down our list. It looks like we're at addition or subtraction. We can see subtraction and addition as the same thing. Some books will write it. Some books will write it. Hmm. A little thought bubble. Some books will write this as 3 plus a minus 8. I'm not a huge fan, but it's good sometimes to write it like that to illustrate that you're adding two numbers that have opposite signs. If you're adding numbers with opposite signs, then you subtract and you associate the sign of the bigger. So I subtract. What's 3 from 8? 5. Mm hmm. Sure. Is it going to be positive or negative? Well, let's see. You got three good guys and eight bad guys. Who wins? The bad guys. Ugh. And they win by five. And then, you know. And a flower. Good?